Welcome to the Ameridroid Mini Lab slash Electrical Closet. Today we received one of these machined aluminum cases for the Odroid XU4, and we're going to test fit an Odroid XU4 in it and see how it works. But this is a, a pretty hefty case. Okay, so we open it up, and we see inside that the uh, the push button has a, a little spring that this uh, apparently is for the power button. And then we have a thermal pad on a machined aluminum column. So this will act as a heat sink in place of the of the active cooler for the XU4. So, in other words, there won't be a fan anymore once we've got this installed. Now there was also a note about removing these screws and putting them in the opposite orientation to anchor the XU4. So we'll remove those and now we'll put them in the opposite corners. Okay, so here's a test XU4 we'll place inside. So oh, first thing we need to do is remove the, the heat sink. This is easiest to do with pliers. Be careful when removing the heat sink from an XU4 because there are components on the board that could be damaged if you are reckless or careless. So this has to be squeezed. All right, it takes a significant amount of force to push those through once you've got them squeezed. So you want to make sure that you leave a little bit of room between where you're squeezing them. Now where, wherever the points of your pliers are going to be, you want to be, make sure that you're away from anything on the board that could get damaged. So just feel free to rotate that. Here we've got slight resistor. We've got some small resistors that we don't want to get. Yeah, once you've got that pushed through, you can just remove the heatsink, and the heatsink should have a sticky surface on it. If it doesn't, that means that the uh, thermal protector wasn't removed. So this one has a plastic protector on it as well, which we will remove. Okay, now we will just line up the so the these ports going over here. One thing I noticed right away, right away is that the boot selector switch is not accessible from the outside of the case. So um, make sure you have it set to the way you want it for your application. place it inside. Now we will install the screws. And line up the holes, the free holes with the free holes. And there you have it, an Odroid XU4 in a passive aluminum heatsink enclosure. We've got the Ethernet, USB port, power, micro SD, HDMI. Again, the boot selector switch is not available. The two USB 3.0 ports. And uh, yeah, like I said, this is a rather significant weight on this. And it looks beautiful. So we are looking at carrying these. If you're interested, please let us know so that we can make sure to carry them and what color also that you're interested in. That's it for today.